Hello, welcome to the Nerd Cave, Inc. Tonight we will be playing Pathfinder, and here are our players. Hark, the Kobold Druid from Green, played by Dennis Prater. Splug, the Goblin Barbarian, played by Ichi. Sophia Wolfsbane, the Human Druid, played by Bella. John Harden, the Human Gunslinger, played by John. And Frick, the Goblin Rogue. Hello. Played by Joey. Hi. Night. I am Egan. And hey, welcome to the Frogs. Now then, our heroes start their journey in a tavern, waking up with most of them having been robbed in the middle of the night. It seemed that some of their artifacts had been stolen in the middle of the night. Sophia had noticed that there was someone leaving her room, her prized possession in Pan. A small, impish little creature <laughs> fleeing towards the city. How was everyone able to act? Well, oh. Why? Why is why? Thing taking Thing? Well, you've all been robbed by Frick, the, the Goblin Rogue. He has stolen your magic items that you had acquired previously before this journey began. You're not sure where he went or why he wanted them, but they are no longer on you. How would you like to react? Well, you have a copy of it somewhere. This peanut gallery is going to kill me over here. <laughs> Daughters, you're currently in the tavern known as the... What's it called? The Winter's Rest Inn. And... For the most part, you're basically you were coming here for all your separate reasons. Hart was just starting his first adventure out away from his home. Who are you all doing? <clears throat> Frick well, is sneaking away. Yes, Frick is sneaking away. And where is he heading? To the um the fence. All right. The goblin is already heading out towards the sewer and to go fence his loot of goods. Those okay. of you may attempt to try to find the tracks of this thief. John, you are missing a gun. Plug, you are missing your spectacles of pixie sight. Oh, oh no. Oh hell no. <laughs> Bella, I don't believe you know what you had yet, but it's gone. And hard to remove <laughs> the Oh no! My thing is gone! Yes, you've lost your thingy. Oh my How goodness. How very unfortunate. I need my thingy, okay? It's really important. Yes, many men would say the same thing. Considering I memorized at least three of the ingredients on that on that tablet, okay, I'm just gonna the herbalist and and see if they have any of the ingredients in stock. <coughs> All right, so Hart is just ignoring the problem I... and heading down to the local apothecary. <laughs> the man looks at you while chewing the fat. In other words, he's chewing on some gum. It seems to be spiced with greenhorn. What can I get you, little boy? At the, I'm at the herb list, right? Yeah. I'm at, out of character. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's chewing some greenhorn spice. <clears throat> I'm wondering if you had any of these ingredients. And I, he has them written down in common. I tried to find one there and there one time. No, I don't have any of those. I've seen Upgraded. pretty, um... Character. No, it's like pretty hard to come by. What? Okay. Um, <laughs> a shade. Well, Sarah was the GM, and Sarah brought out. Sarah killed my party. Hold this thing over here. Party hey, they don't grow around here. I feel like we're gonna have a party because um, we don't have a cleric. No, we had a good party. Sorry, boy, I really can't help. We got only really generic things in here. Stuff that grows around these areas, like winter snap drinks and those kind of things. <laughs> He just hawks the thickest loogie into the bucket <laughs> and puts in a new tuff of spice. Well, 
you have any eggs? Eggs? Yes. Maybe. Might have to check with the farm boys over there. They might be able to help you, little man. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night, little boy. And he'll hobble out using his quarter staff to lean some weight on as he hobbles out of the store okay. with the farm boys. And he will pop up like it. Really? Yeah. Yes, really. really? Just keep yes. feet around. Sorry, I didn't realize I muted my mic. It's all right, but... All right, then. So, there's Hart. John, what do you want to do now that you've woken up with one of your guns missing? Uh, load, make sure the other one's ready to shoot somebody, and then go find whoever took my stuff. <laughs> it's properly loaded. There's some dirty footprints on the ground. They lead out into the muddy streets. Might be a little difficult to figure out where they are without a good survival check. Alright, let me roll for survival. D20, right? Yes, plus your survival. 24. Damn. All right. I got a 19 Frick. and I have a plus 5. Frick, please roll stealth. Okay. Uh, if you so... beat a 24, I'll be surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a goblin. And a rogue. Oh, God! Um, so... I just rolled a critical... Oh, a 20. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That makes, what? Uh, 44? Cool. You have no idea where those feet <laughs> okay. went. They touched yeah. the mud, and then they're just gone. You have no idea where he <laughs> went, but the second you come out, you're like, alright, I got these footsteps to the... I'm impressed. The ground is completely flat. There's no divots in the mud anywhere. <laughs> this is weird. Like, absolutely, like, what? But, how... Yeah, all right. Sophie, what would you like to do now that your trinket is missing? Um, I would like to find the person who took my thingy. Okay, try to beat the 44. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to find him. He rolled like a 9,000. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all that good. In fact, I'm not even going to let you do that because it's like, even with a nat 20, you can't do it because nat 20 isn't a proper nat 20 for skill checks. Okie yeah. dokie. So you look around, you sniff around the area, you can tell it was a goblin. But the second you leave the tavern, there is no trace of him. That mother fluffer. I will get those glasses back. Those glasses oh, are, are very cursing? important. I didn't know we weren't cursing. It's good oh, no. Know. I plan to swear a lot, especially it's, when I'm playing NPCs. It's just my character. All right, what else would oh, you like cool. to do to try and figure out where this little fucker went? Oh, uh, God. What are we supposed to be rolling to find them? I had a peanut gallery, so I wasn't paying full attention. Survival or perception, whichever is higher. But it's going to be very unlikely that you can just find someone who rolled a 44 stealth just now. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pass it. They're both my perception and my survival are the same. There are other ways, however. I'll let you try to think on what they are. What? I can't hear you with my headphones on. I'm sorry. I said there are other ways to find someone besides just seeking them out with your eyes. Words work just as well. Slug, what do you do now that you've woken up with the glasses no longer on your nose? <laughs> right off my face. That's delightful. Um. That's impressive. Right. <laughs> I know. I know what I want to do. Good night, first ten. What would you like to do? I want to use my wolf sense of smell to find him. Okay, using scent. I believe that's a plus two to perception. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So hold on. Where did my... Oh, you, your companion's a wolf. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Go ahead and try. Okay. 
uh, I will say, Frick is a little shit because 9, he has 000. such high stealth. Yeah, I didn't take that into consideration. Oh, that's gonna, totally like, fine. I'm okay with stealth. I have a snake that has scent. Yes. That's not going to help too much if it can't roll high enough. Yeah. I got it. Did he stealth hide his scent? I rolled a freaking 24 and I couldn't find him, so I'm just saying. Yeah. I'd so highest I'd be able to roll is 23. Oof. So. You're stupidly broken, you, Frick. Basically, you two are walking around completely confused on what the fuck just happened and where the hell right? he went. Your dog seems to be walking in circles from wherever the hell this guy went. It could take him a bit before he actually tracks him down. Splug, what are you doing? There's not really anything I can't do. That 24 perception or whatever it was can't get it. I'm not gonna get it with 23. I never said you had to use exclusively perception to find him. What are we around? Because just... I had peanut calories, so. Well, since you literally can never find him with a perception check, <laughs> there are other ways to figure out where thieves might hide. Okay. Should I help everybody, Keegan? You must. We got two noobs over here, so, yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, my knee. Awesome. Uh, you take an arrow? Heels out again. 24 survival check to track him. I can't get higher than 23. All right, Dennis. Hold on. You find his trail, but it I got a 24 nowhere already, very so... quickly. You cannot where? figure out where these tracks went. They disappear very quickly. Okay. Can I try? Inspiration. Can I get can. more details where they're at, the location of these tracks, and how they disappeared? Well, they go two steps out of the tavern, and then just stop existing. Okay. He rolled 44 stealth. We at least have like a... General There's direction. Where correctly? Correct? Well, you have an idea that they're heading kind of towards the town, but that's about it. There are people in the tavern, a few of them looking shady, but... No, I mean, there wasn't like a building that he could have climbed up from where the tracks ended. No, they were already heading straight out towards the town, but then they disappeared. Right. So there's like no manhole, there's no nothing. No. Man, it is yeah. still great the distance, though. Well, I'm going to go talk to the seedy guys in the tavern. All right. <clears throat> there is Why is three... the thing is goblin knowledge? Hmm? I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. Goblin All knowledge. Right. <laughs> All right, Hart, there's three gruff-looking individuals. Yep. How to eat cars. dogs and hate horses. One of them is a half-orc. Another one is some gray-skinned dwarf. And the last one seems to be a gnome. The gnome what? is missing three. The gnome is missing three teeth, and his and his beard is uh this sherbet colored orange. You cheeky bastard! You chose the three races that would hate me on sight. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky little bastard! <laughs> and three gruff individuals take a glance at you, and then turn back to their game. Quite contemplation about their hands. Mind if I join, boys? The half orc just sort of comes and says, The auntie's 20 gold. Can you handle that for? Hey, gold on the table. Heal me in. Put 20 gold on the table? All right. Yeah. The gnome picks up picks up the deck and you tosses out. just asking to get oh. robbed. <laughs> so he so he tosses me what? A Two hand? Cards. Yeah, you Two have a cards. hand. Alright. What's time for three? Time for three time for three rolls. Them versus oh. you. Roll, the roll D twenty uh, add roll D twenty and add profession gambler if you have it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh. I lost you for a second. 
Hello? Okay, there you go. Awesome. You're gonna hate me. Why? 20 adjusted. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, is any rolled an 8, a 12, and a 16? Or grumbles <laughs> and tosses down his cards as the pot is rolled towards you. They all seem very aggressively angry now. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna walk into the bar because there's no way I'm gonna track the guy who, you know, teleported away. Basically, he did. He's a little bastard like that. So, Keegan, I'm gonna be, be a little this, this, this action, just so you know. All right, what are you doing? I, I lost some property recently. How much would it take to, to pay you to get it back? Hmm. The orc scratch, scratches his chin and thinks. Depends on how you lost it. You got mugged on the street. There's no way I can really help you with that, boy. The dwarf shrugs and says, Yeah, 20 gold and I'll hunt down any motherfucker for you. <laughs> and the gnome just sort of starts drinking. Eh, I've been in my time gambling, not hunting down men. It's going to happen to know where I could find someone who can help me track something down, do you? Hmm. Well, depends on what you're looking for, boy. The half work definitely has a very angry demeanor towards you. He doesn't seem like he's going to be very willing to help you. So he does seem like he wants his money back. Oh, no, trust me, that's definitely the goal here. <laughs> well, hey, I look at the orc. Well, if you can help me, I'll give you back double what you lost. Alright, what are we looking for? There's a... It shouldn't be too hard to find. It's a wooden tablet Written in druidic. It should be okay. very easily noticeable. Well, yeah, fucking druidic. Whoever took that was just an idiot. That's no purpose for anybody but a damn druid, which I'm guessing you are. Just a little bit. I dabble. Fucking greenhorns. All right, so where did you lose your shit at? Uh, out in town near the tavern. Uh, he probably just got robbed by the Thieves Guild. If you want to find him, head to the sewers. They're in the cistern. You probably have to buy it back from a fence. 40 gold, please. Awesome. I give him I give him the 60 I won. He takes it. Okay. You're paying extra. <laughs> pass goes the moon of... He says that the, pass, the password for the Thieves Guild is the hurried moon. Thank you. You yeah, have a good day, Bugs sir. Bugs the money, goes over to the, to the counter and starts getting some drinks. What's everyone else want to do? <laughs> Alright. I'm actually... What equipment that I seem to have stolen that I do believe is um, something I can capably use to rob the fence. You have a I'm, gun? Some spectacles of reading... <laughs> a tablet of wood and whatever the hell Bella had. I don't know if Thingy! I'm pretty sure the gun is <laughs> pretty useful. A ring bigger than my finger, but not as but bigger than a normal human's finger. Hmm. And some glasses. Got some glasses, a gun, a tablet, and. We really do need to figure out what you had, Bella. Thingy! <laughs> should really look That's... into it while you're not actually talking. Yeah. But, um... So, what, um... My intent is... Is to try to do a, um... Let's see. Uh... See if I am even... You gonna go bluff a fence? Yeah, pretty much. Bluff a fence to take all the stolen merchandise back from them to give back to the people it was stolen from. Alright, he's rolling a sense motive. Roll your bluff. Okay, let me roll a d20. Ah, which what? is actually one of the skills I'm not that great in. Okay, 
I have a negative two to my bluff, so I bet you do better than me. <laughs> All right. So the fence sees you coming in and says, Ah, Frick, my favorite contributor. What do you have for me today? He seems to be a half-elf. His skin's a bit darker. Not quite a drow thing, but more of like too much seeing of the sunlight. He's got a couple burns on him. And a distinct knife mark in the side of his cheek. Mm, Okie dokie. Alright. My response. Now to add, uh, it's a nineteen roll for bluff. All right. Total. You beat him by one. All right. What do you want to say to him? Some people in town have been receiving stolen items that 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 I really really want back, and since some people asked me if if I come across. I, I, I try bringing them, and I have some new toys that, that might help me in doing so. And I see some of the stuffs. I know you have some. Ah, oh, so you look at the buy today. Wonderful. Well, no, I got a wide selection. I, hmm? I want them now. No money. No. <laughs> are you threatening me? Truly, are you threatening me? I pull up the gun. He's taken aback for a moment. One sec, sorry, I can't hear. He's taken aback for a moment and steps back. What the? How'd you get a firearm? He now looks very nervous. You know, the the Peter Rapp Hall thing. (laughs) Yeah, but give us, give me the stuff so I can go take it back. Roll intimidate. See if I get any good on that one too. And not so much. Total of five. <laughs> oh, he beats you. I, I kind of suspected on that one. Yeah, you beat you get by one. By the way. <laughs> wow. He takes a deep breath, steals his eyes, and draws a blade coming at you. Roll initiative. Oh damn. Okay. Uh, let's see. 22. 10. You go first. Hauls ass out of the, uh, the shop and ducks down the hall, go, uh, trying to hide. All right, so you just moved 120 squares away. He's going to try to keep up after you. And he clobbers his face into a low-hanging ceiling, rubs it, and yells, Frick! All right. Sounds like the usual. You gonna take another turn to run away? Do what? You gonna keep running away? Yes. (laughs) All right. You are now on the cusp of the exit. The guards there look at you curiously as they hear everyone yelling, the guy yelling Frick from way behind. One of them tries to say something. What do you do? Hey, what's going? He lost a gamble again. He always hates it when he loses. Roll bluff. Nineteen again. Yeah, nice try, Frick. He pulls a crossbow and takes a bead on your face. What's your AC? Oh, shit. Uh, nineteen. All right, you're about to take some damage. It's a light crossbow, yep. so you take four damage as the bolt scrapes by your cheek. Okie doke. One second, we find. <sighs> Let me grab something real quick. No. Nah. As prepared as I thought it was. It would seem the fence wasn't having any of your shit. Do what? It would seem that everybody's onto your shit right now. Yeah. I was actually hoping everyone would try to catch up, uh, would successfully catch up to me before I got to that part. <laughs> 
That is the player aspect. Here it is. <laughs> well, the one of the druids does know an idea of where you might be. <laughs> yeah, actually, after all of this, I'm actually heading back to give back the stuff. <laughs> it's like, well, that didn't work. Let's try something else. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Sorry, I'm trying to get some pla uh, clear plastic on my sheet so I can write on it with the marker, maybe. All right. If that. So, of course not. So for now, I will move to the other group while you're running away yes. for your life. Okay, you said right. four damage, right? Yeah, you took four damage. Okay, be right back. What is everyone else doing at this time? Um, I guess I'm outside with my wolf, staring at it, wondering why it's so dumb. I'm, I'm going sure. It's guild. So Digging you through all of my stuff. So, Josh, well, Josh and Sophie both see... Sorry, John and Sophie both see a little green kobold heading towards the sewer gate. Oh Let's my go. god! That's the little tard that took my stuff! You believe it's the kobold? <laughs> yes! <laughs> wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> Just wonderful. Alright, Slug, what are you doing? He's freaking out because he can't find the glasses. Oh, he's just tearing apart the room then? Yep. <laughs> he's like, I know I had them. Where are they? Alright, wonderful. <laughs> so John and Sophie are now looking at the kobold heading to the sewers. Sophie has declared that he's the one that stole the things. So you're welcome, Frick. I'm just gonna sit now. You're very welcome that I'm taking the rap for you on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, which, isn't as much which in this land there isn't that much stigmatism towards green kobolds because of their uh, community service that they've done it's, it's okay Keegan remember kobold herbalism yep yeah don't worry I, I got this alright so Sophie you believe this little fucker the green kobold motherfucker stole your shit what are you yes. gonna do I want to go and send my wolf to drag him to me. Okay. Roll gra- have him roll grab. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dennis. Oh, it's perfectly oh. fine. <laughs> it's just as if it wakes up Willow or not. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. My person. Yep. <laughs> Shot. John, what do you want to do? You heard this druid lady beside you just declare that the kobold took the things. Things. John? The skirt wearing kobold. I don't know where he is. Okay. okay. Right. It's, um, it's 17. All right. What is your CMD, Dennis? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna work on it. Combat stats. Um, CMD appears to be a 9. You CMD? Yeah! Holy shit! The wolf just walks over, scoops him up by the uh, scruff of his shirt, and walks back to you. <laughs> Good job, Soraya! Like, they had absolutely no issue with this. It was, like, the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> There's a reason why the snake's on me, Keegan. Yep. Snakes. Roll their perception. Nine? Well, I gotta... I guess I'm gonna roll the snake's stealth, too. You, the snake rolled a nine for perception? What? He I haven't rolled it. Snake's... Rolling. He said roll, he is rolling. Roll this... Roll the snake's perception, Dennis. Oh, yeah, you gotta switch over to Willow. Yeah, yeah. And, John, what are you doing now that you apparently have a culprit? So, I have to r roll its perception? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. 
Please make it not wake up. Shit. That doesn't sound good. No, I mean, I fucked something up. I haven't rolled yet. Nah, that's, that's what I need. It's plus one. Yeah. 18. No, they do not wake up because it's sleeping. Minus 10 to, to perception. They just no, go... Yeah. They just sort of curl around your neck a little tighter. John, what are you doing neck. now that you seek to have caught your culprit? At least as far as the druid woman believes. Is he even there? Yes, I am here. Josh. Mm. What are you doing now that there is a possible culprit among you? All right, Josh isn't speaking, so we'll move back Minus. on to the, we'll move back to the other druid. Sophie, you now yes. have the kobold in front of you. What do you want to do? Um, I want to ask him why did he take the stuff? All right, all right. <laughs> and your response? No, I'm I, I'm searching for someone who stole my things currently. <laughs> So, so you didn't take the things? I didn't take anything. So someone I'm searching took... for... Okay, so someone took your stuff and my stuff and his stuff. Yeah. I was heading to the Thieves Guild right now. Okay. Well, do you mind if I go with you to see who took the thingy? I don't see why not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my voice... I'm sick right now, and so I'm trying not to do too many to save my throat. I understand. Splug, what are you doing now that you've completely realized it is not in your room? Uh, I guess I'm going outside to see if I can see anybody wearing them. So Splug is now storming outside looking for anyone wearing glasses. Yep. <laughs> Good thing I don't okay. wear glasses. Stupid barbarian incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I Okay. You look to the left. No glasses, man. You look to the right. No glasses, man. You look forward. There's some lizard man and two humans, but no glasses, man. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Splug, what were you doing? Um, who's the closest person to me? That would be the little lizard being held up by a wolfie. Okay. Then I will poke the lizard in my face and ask him if he saw somebody with my glasses. Okay, then. <laughs> Is that what I heard? I heard you, you, will poke, uh, you will poke me in her face. I will poke you and ask you if you saw somebody with my glasses. Oh, no. The barbarian is asking for some glasses. <laughs> okay, Frick, what are you doing now? <laughs> Alright, uh, do I know a alternate safe route to get out of the uh, uh, thieves den? Any sewer exit, but they're usually <laughs> guarded by a, thief, by a rogue who's more or less there to keep people from coming in. <laughs> Real okay. question. I said the news travel about him being whatever. Huh? So, then I guess I would um, move all uh, around in alternate tunnels and wait till everything dies down uh, pertaining right. to darker corners. Roll stealth. <laughs> Uh, 44 again. Jesus. You, ne you were never seen. You've never <laughs> You've never like, existed. I, I expunged them of all memories of me. Basically. They run off, and they're just away from the exits now, trying to hunt you down. You're literally standing there, and they run past you, not noticing you. 
Wait. I will. Hey, no, I'm back. Sorry, y'all. Family drama. I will attempt to leave when I feel the coast is clear enough to safely make it out, up and out. Okay. So that's Hello? about ten seconds there? after the man runs past you. Also, those who are heading towards the sewer exit are now there. Okay, so okay. like, is is he still like being carried by Sophie? Yes. I don't know. Is he? I don't know. Have you commanded? You haven't told her to put him down. That's true. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have to command your pets to stop. Hello, hello. There's a reason why oh, I told you. I trained my, my viper to come and uh, attack him down. Okay. Okay. Um, so I told <clears throat> Sophie to put him down very gently because she hasn't fully understood gently yet. She and just she opens her him. mouth. If she just opens her mouth, he falls into the mud. <laughs> it's good for the scale. Awesome. Alright, so you all reach a sewer grate, and it seems to be able to be pushed aside, given enough force. Yes. And before I jump in, haphazardly, I'm, uh, I'm going to inspect the entrance. For traps? <laughs> in general, but if they're if for traps too, yes. There's multiple reasons. Roll perception. Check. Ooh, my favorite. Oh shit. Is it with y'all or what's going on? Oh, you're back now. Yeah. Hey, no, I had a family drama I had oh. to do it with. It's alright. Should have said Don't something. Worry. You didn't really miss much. Uh, I Sophie didn't have an opportunity to tell y'all and he, like, had to go deal with it fast, so... It's yeah, fine. Right. Sophie thought she yeah. caught the culprit. He was also missing something and said he was heading towards the Thieves Guild. 28. 28? Holy shit. Jesus. You notice that in the inside of the grate, there is something attached to the top of it. It seems to be an alarm. Seems to be an alarm? Yes. I'm not too worried about that, actually. So I'm going to climb, doing my best to avoid it. But if I hit okay. it, I really... You were trying to climb the grate. No, I'm trying to I move the grate aside. It's very heavy. Roll a strength check. Oh, yeah, I'm going to fail that one, aren't I? <laughs> I think I'm going to fail that, Keegan. Hey... Do this unless you want to roll for me. No, you can roll. Thirteen to move it. Fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. So 13. the little the little kobold is with all his might trying to move this right. He is struggling. His scales are becoming a little flush because of just red heat and blood vessels about to burst. He doesn't seem strong enough to move it. Splunk help, Splunk help, Splunk uh, help. Alright. Yeah. Roll strength checks, Splug. Oh, that's bad. That sounds that awesome. <laughs> Seven. Total? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, the barbarian claps their hands and starts trying to... I rolled a <laughs> and it's just like... Turn a red in the face. He's all <laughs> kinds of like ah, ah, ah. He's just not able to do it. Is twenty not enough? Um, to how does the great move? Does it fall in? That sounds like a perception. Uh, they trying to fall in, trying... or does it need to be moved to the side? They're trying hey, to move it to the side. Hold on, can I do a perception check to see if there's an easier way than trying to move the great right now? Sure. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm totally okay with taking suggestions. Okay, so let me math. 25. Okay. Cool. The hinges swing outwards towards you guys. <laughs> he pulls the alarm, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm okay. Oh, it's awesome. 
It this is a little difficult for short, inside. though it is very difficult for short people to open it. Well, well then. Uh... <laughs> Both short people are trying to open it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to reach told... up over their heads and pull on the thing to see if I, it I can creaks, move it. It creaks loudly. You hear something snap, but nothing else happens. It's open now. Wow. Yeah, I had to pull past, you know, your combined <laughs> 20 strength to get the door open. Joe, we're holding it shut. <laughs> no, they were trying to strength check the thing aside because they weren't paying it. Dennis was only looking for traps, really. He found the even, trap, but didn't know the sense. I know he didn't. He just tried doing what he was doing. I'm like, I help, I help. Good thing All I right, checked. Yes. Okay, Frick, as you're heading towards the exit, you hear the alarm go off. It's a low humming droning noise that usually means that somebody's found one of the entrances. Ah, crap. <laughs> Just crap. I have no luck today. <laughs> okay. So, down the sewer grate a little further is a small door. I that I was Frick, you are standing in front of the small door. Uh, do I know that this alarm is showing me that it's from this way that um, the alarm's going off? Yeah. <clears throat> see. And the door, is it kind of like a normal like house door where I know that if it opens, I can have enough room to hide behind it as they open the door? Yeah, more or less. All right. It's a ramshackle shack kind of door. All right. Well, ramshackle, so like kind of like, uh, like a great door. No, I was like, it's a shack door. It's a crap. Oh, no, no, not a great door. Oh, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Says it was crappy. This a, remember, this is a door that if you pushed on it wrong, you push your hand straight through it. Okay. All right. Um, I will. Hide to the, the side because I don't know who's coming. Uh, so that okay. whoever comes in, it like just passes by, hopefully. Stealth. stealth to check again. Yep. Oh my god. I didn't roll a 20. Well, good. I That's rolled a good. 19. So that would make uh, 43. 43. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, that's horribly wonderful. So, the three three uh, roguish guards come to the door, noticing the alarm. The, one of them, you swear, looks directly at you. It doesn't even notice you. <laughs> and they open the and they that's... stand beside the door and yell out, "Who goes there?" To the ones on the other side. Running Moon. Oh, we have visitors. Yes. The door unlatches and opens up. You see three burly looking straight up thugs. These are like the most thuggish thugs you've ever seen. Oh. Hello there. I have a I have a question and slash with 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 uh, whoever's in charge or Who's in charge? <laughs> I mean, most are out back, but he's not around right now. Oh, what business yeah. do you have? Uh, I was wondering if we could do an If that makes sense. Well, we're always open for exchanges. <laughs> uh, I was Please come in. Okay, thank you. So you're now all invited into the Thieves Guild since you know the password. They, take, they start to walk down towards the cistern. Okay. Change was the password. Neat. Huh? So exchange was the password, I guess? No, running moon. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. 
I, I won the password in a gambling competition. <laughs> So, boy, what you need? So, I seem to have uh, lost something. And I was wondering if I, if you guys could steal it back in exchange for a service. My. Never heard a green scale talk so boldly before. And your friends, too? He glances at the others who are all just following you. Sure, oh. why not? I, have... I guess. I guess they have. Uh, fall under my deal if they so true. Alright. I can for them. So what are you looking to reacquire? I have lost a wooden slab that ha- that's been written, has writing on it in Druidic. Hmm. And, and I'm sure it's an uncommon item in this case. It doesn't sound like it'd be too hard to find once you find the right collectors. Hello. Be trying to get it. Hello. Ha ha. Thank you, Ella. You're welcome. All right. And hey, what about your friends? What are you looking to reacquire? My thingy. Also, Frick, Frick, you're hearing all of this. That's what I was about and to ask. And your thingy is. I'm just like looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up, like a. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a thingy. It's just, it's a thingy, and it's like, it's got colors, or maybe not. I don't know right now. Um, just, yeah. Do, does it seem like I could safely oh, sneak with a around? Ring. Generally pretty good. Around no. and out. Oh, yeah, with your stealth, most likely. Okay. I, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start sneaking back towards the end that I stole all the stuff from. All right, then. <clears throat> Alright. So you lost your thingy. What about you, sir? I'm looking for my gun. Gun. Hello. Very much gun. Also <laughs> This is Sorry, recognizable. I phone. Wait a minute. Wasn't a uh, freak carrying a gun and tried pulling it on uh, our good buddy Franken over there? I think I might know who your thief is. You oh. shifted little goblin. Little bastard was trying to rob one of our fences down here. It'll be, a little, it'll be really hard to track down. He's one of the best little infiltrators we got we used to have. He's no longer allowed down here anymore. But, uh, I'll say this. He usually hangs yeah. out around the lower districts down here. If you can find him, get your stuff pretty easily. He's a coward. How much for fight? How much thieves are there? <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck to you. That's about all I can help you with at the moment. I'm not going to be able to track that little shit down. But you find him, give him a look for us, okay? Oh, yeah, that's what you want for your payment, then? <laughs> Fuck. All we got for you is a little bit of information, but sure. Give him a licking for us, and we'll call it even. Okay. Keegan, I don't think uh, you realize what right. I'm offering for them. No problem. Rich. Hmm? You know, originally, to change up. Me being able to translate druidic texts they may have stolen, or even teach them certain poison recipes I've created over the years, in exchange for this. Originally, Maybe, yeah, but, but there's not much. The, the problem is they actually can't really help you against Frick. Yeah, I know. He's a slick little shit. Well, last we saw him, he was running off into the tunnels. So as far as you know, he's either in the tunnels or out in the town. You have to do your best to find them. He's a squat little goblin. He likes to hide his face. Mm. He's got a dark green tone oh. and uh, likes to carry a little magic box of his. Hey. Hmm. How about one thing? I don't know. I have a question for you. More jab. You wouldn't happen to have a disguise kit, would you? We might. Depends on how much coin we want to put down. 
How much what? How much coin you want to put down? Yeah. Do you barter? A bit. One other? A bit. What's the animal? Uh, maybe a poison recipe. A recipe for poison? Yes. Well, we don't take many assassination missions, but it could still be useful. Sure. You probably want a few assassins. Here's a recipe for druidic poison. Oh, he even has that. He takes a look at it. Really? That's all? Hmm. Good to know. At least, at least a disguise kit for each of us. I say, yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll grab a couple boxes for these boys. And girl. They come back and bring you all a about a five pound box full of disguise equipment. Uh, some mild face prosthetics, some glue, a bit of makeup. It's some high quality stuff, but not too expensive. Oh, that'll work. By the way, my name is. Oh, hot. Have nice a good night, kid. <laughs> and the rogues head back into the cistern. One standing beside the door as you all leave. Josh, got it. Now we have business? check chat, please. What am I doing? Uh, hold on. Let's see, staff? Yeah, you can have staff. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. All, it says is, all it can say is the staff won't be super amazingly powerful, but you can still be a staff. Trust me, having a staff is actually really good, even if it's lousy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they're upgradable. That's what the scary part is. I'll be honest with that. I'm not going to end on so, that. So much static. Well, the disguise doesn't need to be good. Goblins aren't that smart. Yeah, That's but... Lie. At least my goblins are. But, yeah. Goblins are as smart as they're raised. What? A goblin is as smart as they're raised. I was trying to make a joke, but okay. Are you talking about oh, when raised by other <laughs> goblins, dumb? Sometimes. Sometimes. Once you're raised by goblins. enough that. intellect to learn, learn, understand common, at least. But he had help. Yeah. I'm a very pretty pixie. <sighs> so, okay. I'm going to disguise kit and I'm going to color my scales gold. <clears throat> okay. So, the little. The little kobold is now coloring himself a different color. Yeah. Was basically a sharpie. Yeah. From disguise Roll disguise. Oh, that'll take forever. Wait, if you use a disguise kit, you get a plus four to your eyes roll. Yep. <clears throat> well, considering my DC wasn't that fucking hard. Because I'm literally just making myself look different. So we all look the fucking same. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright. Shit. I, I rolled an 11. That's enough to make yourself look like a gold kobold instead of a green one. No. Yeah. I mean, underneath your kilt, there may still be some green, but... We're not going down there anyways. And I'm shorter than him. Yeah. I don't need to worry about it. Yep. Ooh. What's everyone else doing? I guess I'm just standing there, um, playing fetch with my wolf. Okay. Not so paying attention. Playing... So you decided to play fetch in the middle of the street? 
<laughs> yep. John, what are you doing? Well, oh no, horse crying. They told us where he was going, right? Basically. Into well, is probably in the I'm village or in the tunnels. Him, Most likely in the village. Uh, I did not search the village for the little fucker. Yes, I am. As a different kobold. Uh, looking for a goblin who covers his face. Yep. All right. That's I'm fun. gonna head out and look for him. Okay. There's more. Got sneaky, so, uh, ch and cheeky goblin at that. Yep. Everyone, go perception. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I dropped my die on the floor. Damn it! I got six. <sighs> sparkly, <laughs> sparkly skills. Sparkly, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> you know you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a twenty. Oh, you're gonna take all day to to hunt him down? Yes. Okay. So the kobold just takes off from the group is systematically hunting for this man. Sixteen. Oh, sparkly. All right, Dennis. What's your what's your what's it equal out to now that you're systematically doing so? Thirty. Good. Splug, please roll stealth. We. Oui. No, not splug. Sorry. Frick. Fine. <laughs> it was a really good roll too. <laughs> huh? Oh, we get the bad roll. Frick. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Because I know you're gonna have to be hidden, Frick, unless you want them to find you. There, I will get to that point at the uh, at the end. Yeah, they've all rolled. I have thirty first. Okay, that was not a, a twenty or a nineteen that time, but that equals out to be thirty-two. God damn. So broken. Well, that was only an eight roll. <coughs> ah. Trust. <coughs> so Frick is a Frick is being a ninja inside the inn, <laughs> and All no right. one else is. No one else can figure out where he went. What I'm doing? All right. Th this is item per room. What I'm putting in there, because Frick okay. does doesn't remember exactly which room had which item. Um, in the human... Uh, in the human's room that had the guns, he leaves the glasses. Oh! There's gonna be some fighting. And the... Um, the Cobalt's room... Uh, I would leave the, um, the, the thingy. The thing. I believe it's a staff. I we agreed it was staff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, I'm just making it as kind of more comedic. Um. The magic stick. The, um. Magic <laughs> the go uh, other goblin, I think, of course, goblins, we like to tinker with stuff, and I th think that that's where the other gun was. And I'm sitting in the human female's room with the tablet just looking at it uh, inquisically, um, <laughs> waiting for them to come back. Because you have no idea what this thing is. Yes, that's literally why I'm just sitting there looking at it, trying to figure it out. <laughs> it's like, what okay. did I do this? So after a long day of searching, and none of you finding anything, you all head back to the tavern? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. It's pretty much where I'm going to head back. Yeah. All right. Rest. Yeah. All right, you went to your room and find a big stick that's way too big for you. It's <laughs> lying on the bed. Oh, well, John the... finds a John finds a pair of glasses laying on the uh, end table that are way too small for his face. Uh, perception finds a, Huh? Perception? 
Yeah, so I'd like to roll perception on why, why there would be glasses here. Because why I would just be say like, roll what type of glasses intelli- they are. Kind of I'll say roll intelligence check. Okay. Uh, ooh. That was gross. Um, with modifier nine. Huh. Because I don't, for some reason, have really broke ass rolls. It would seem that you have a that you have some cool. barmaid's glasses in your room. It's blood. There's a weird Me. thing lying on your pillow. I expect it. Like wow, shiny. It's very shiny. Shiny. <laughs> the, with a smooth wood surface on the hilt. A uh, weird thing on the top. Some metal pieces. And this thing that pulls back. You're not sure what it does. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. Look down the hole. Like, what is this thingy? <laughs> oh, please, no. It smells funny. <laughs> it smells like fireworks. I mean, hoping you know what fire is. Yeah, it does smell like it does smell like firework. <laughs> what do you want to do with it? I'm looking at it. It's shiny. Okay. How are you holding it? Um, with the barrel pointing at my face. Apparently, I'm smelling it. I'm holding okay. it by the barrel. By the barrel, looking at it. Okay. There seems to be something inside of it. I try to shake it out. Like, now I'm pointing at the ground, shaking it. Like, what's in here? What's in here? One second. <laughs> uh, something. Oh, God. Yay, fun. Joy, we gave the green monkey a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. So the entire tavern shudders at the sound of the entire gun just fired off whatever payload it had into the floor, shattering wooden switches everywhere and scaring the patrons down the bar. Uh. Awesome. I'm sitting in the room. Thank you. Shiny, go home. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to where I heard the gun check go off. It's not hard to find. Wait, who well, had first my Cool. Also, I'm Sophie, my you walk into your room and there's a green goblin holding a piece of uh, wood. Okay. So, I walk up to him and I take the wood. And then I take him by his ear <laughs> and I drag him out of the room. So, as you grab his ear, there's a very loud bang. Ah, I accidentally flinch so hard that I throw him against the wall. That's roll, strength check. Roll, yeah, Let's roll strength check. Do it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Twelve. Uh. Yeah, no, you just let go of his ear. Dang it. Okay, I was about to say, do I need to do, like, an acrobatics check? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. You're now you're now free, and, like, there's just that loud commotion in the tavern now. <coughs> I, I hold up the wood tablet thing, and it's like, I bring back your shinies. Yeah, cool, that, you brought that, back a non-shiny piece of wood and that, called it a shine. That's that's not mine. <laughs> that is not my thingy. I don't understand why. No, you why. can read it. I know, but that's not mine. So there must be another druid here. Did, were, were you the one that took all of the things from these people? Uh, for good reasons? Yeah, okay. Sure. Um... So where did you put the other things? Back in people's rooms. Yeah, I think we know where the gun's at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's. How about we go and get all of the things back to the right people? What do you say about that? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so Dennis, do you touch yes. the staff? This is what okay. I did. Can you I already hold the knowledge need to identify the type of what it was and why it'd be crafted into what it is. And it was, I rolled okay. a 20. Okay, it's an oak staff. It seems to be a magic staff, and it seems to have a spell in it. Because you're a druid and you know nature magic, it's a spell of entangle. Okay, I was about to say it's it's enchanted. I don't know what it is. I'm not touching it, but I'm gonna touch it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it. All right, you're now holding the staff of entanglement. Yes, I'm holding two staffs. For staff and a staff staff. and a real staff. Is he big enough to hold the staff? Yeah, just at the bottom though. It's okay. The quarter staff is technically like said. long. That's By the way, said. so I don't know how long the big staff is. So, there's some glasses <laughs> in your room. You're not sure what they are when you hear the familiar sound of one of your guns firing. I guess I'm gonna pocket the glasses and head for the sound. Cool. You exit your room and just uh, straight across the way, you open the With other door. With my gun drawn. Cool. You're now holding forth your gun, step into the other room, and there's a goblin looking at your gun. <laughs> Shiny go boom. Shiny go very boom. Big boom. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk over and take it away from him. That's not cool. A guy just shoots the shiny out of your Oh, hand. no, it's a musket. Okay. Never mind. Not musket, just a uh, footlock pistol. One shot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it's for shiny. a second. Shiny, shiny. The tall man took yeah, the shiny. Yeah, I'm not going to let you play with this. Shiny. Give shiny back. Shiny you mine. Be at my room. At least this smart to carry my gun. Shiny mine, <laughs> my room. Give shiny back. <laughs> Unless you want to see the business end of the other shiny, I'd back up. Uh... Shiny? Because while you're not the goblin that stole my stuff, you were the one holding my stuff. Tall man mean. Tall man very mean. Pretty much. <laughs> Mean tall people. All tall people mean. Pretty much. Alright. Okay. So, Sophie's heading over to the other room with the goblin? I see. Okay. So, you walk in and see the other human just sort of down-talking the other goblin. Okay. Who is More calling him very me. Okay. So I I want to tell him stop being a jerk to this goblin. This isn't the goblin that took your stuff. It's this one over here with the weird face. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> I think I, I don't know. Stealing, my, uh, stealing stuff's pretty rude. It, it, it is, it is very much, but he did bring it back. I mean, granted, I think it was the wrong places, but he brought it back. Yes, I, I have his class thingies in room, this one. <laughs> I left long wooden object in this one. The shiny in that one. Shiny. And... Foxy is writing on it in this one. In hers. Lady with the woofy. Shiny. Glasses. Where's glasses? Pulled out hand for glasses. Oh. Glasses. These. <laughs> Pulls out glasses. Mine. And hands them to the Thank you. munchkin. Thank you. They really Puts are. Puts on my face. <laughs> okay. So that's cool. You guys got your shit back. Cool. Um, well, I want to go and find my staff of thingy. So, um, do you mind if, like, you know, I leave now and let you two do whatever with the hole in the ground? 
I poked the other goblin. Taking stuff bad. No should do. I was taking it to help get stuff that was taken from other people to give it back. It didn't work too well. Still taking bad. Should not take from others. Earn from others. Not take. But I give back. Yeah. I intended to back. But you still took. Taking bad. Take it. All right. Take it. Morals from a goblin Take. is kind of like blind leading the blind here. That's <laughs> 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 the truth. I'm sorry, I was taught by a lawful good pixie. Ugh, stupid so... pixies. Hey, Art's that pixie was eating. Oh. <laughs> That's a very, very, um... Straight out of Evil Dead. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. Just draw a line here. We, we are getting yeah, pretty bad. Sorry, sorry. 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 Anyways, Hart so is sorry. just looking, is just examining the staff in his room then, since Dennis isn't around. Okay, so I want to ask this little goblin over here, Frick. Um, so if I have the wood thing with the druidic on it, then that means someone else has my staff, right? Okay, your staff fits. Okay, well let's let's go get that, shall we? Okay. I walk over to the door. Um, is it by chance locked? No, it doesn't smell. Okay. Open doors. <laughs> the door opens, and the kobold is looking over the staff, holding it. Okay. okay. I walk up to him, and I yank the staff out of his hands, and I put the plaque of wood thing on the bed, and then I leave. Cool. He says, I was a little rude as guards are storming up the staircase. I didn't do it. And, and they yell. Running up the stairs. Huh? You do what? Is I'm going to put my guns guard? in my pockets. Is it city okay. guard or is it uh, thieves guild guard? Village guard. Okay, so I'm cool. They come upstairs and are yelling. All right, who the hell pulled the trigger down up here? Um, it was the thing in the shadow, and okay. it ran away. Shiny stick Dang it! Minus now, stay bluff. Minus some. Twenty. Cool. Minus five. They get ya. Dang it. All right, you're all under arrest. Go with me. mean man stick shiny go boom. They all pull out manacles. Can I roll still to disappear? Sure, go ahead and roll. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... I'm very tempted to try. <laughs> I got 23. Cool. Can I roll charisma to try to flirt my way out of it? <laughs> cool. Huh? I need to clean off my desk, damn it. Guys. <sighs> so they saw you trying to stealth away. Aw. And you've been shackled. Aw. Okay. Splug not bad. Splug good. Splug good. Okay. Is that my turn? Mm -hmm. Charisma. Okay. I got, um, 14 plus, hold on, <clears throat> 2. 16, 16. You lock eyes with him, he locks eyes back. They shackles you. Dang oh. it! No bonus, no negative. Stayed at the same area he was in. Frick, John, Frick you, thinking he hasn't done anything wrong, he does not try to run or hide or anything like that. Cool. You're shackled. John, what do you do? Oh, die down! And it's one of the evil ones. Sorry. John. Sorry, I've got my mic. 
Microsoft. Um, I didn't realize my Microsoft. Sorry. Um, All right. I would like to sleight of hand to steal a key and palm it. Okay. Roll sleight of hand. From one of the ones uh, shackling somebody else. As they're doing that, I want to reach over, snap a key out of their pocket. Okay. Uh, uh, I rolled a 16 plus... Four twenty. You got a twenty-three. And what's your AC? Uh, twenty-three. Like fourteen. Fifteen. Leather armor. All right. All right. You just got punched in the face for three damage, and he's going to shackle you now. I'm sorry, could you repeat that last bit? I didn't hear it. He punched you in the face. We're trying to steal his key. Okay. He took three damage. Good to know. And now he's trying to shackle you. Are you going to resist? Uh, out of character. What level are these a-holes? Are they level yeah. one, two, or... No. I... Like most of you guards are like level 30 or something. Stupid. No. How about level 3? But also out of character, do you really want to pick a fight with the city guard? I mean, it's one um, thing to one pick a fight with the thieves. In the mouth. You're trying to steal a key to the manacles. That they're trying to put on me, and even though I didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, besides the point. Um, no, I'm good. Let's just go to jail. All right, you are all shackled up, and for the most part, you are all being taken to the corral to spend a night in jail. They let you know that you're crying for the day because you're oh, well because you were in your room and not out with everyone else on the stairs during an incident with a gunshot. I was yeah. in my room. All... Huh? I was still said you were in... out there. I didn't say you that. You said you were out on the stairs. And yeah. I said I was in my room after hearing I didn't hear gunshot. stairs. I, I didn't hear the stairs. Sorry. Proceed. Huh? So wait, Dennis, you also went outside? No, I said I'm staying in my room. I'm not dealing with the gunshot. All right. No, you went so... to go find out where the gunshot was from. That's dangerous to me, Keith. Never mind. Wrong person. You know, Dennis, the yeah. staff Wrong was person. taken from you. The staff was taken from Dennis. And his tablet was on the bed, and then everyone else got arrested. Oh, everyone else got arrested. Oh, sweet. Yeah. You're all going to be <laughs> spending a night in the penitentiary for the for public disturbance and a almost almost manslaughter. There was a guy who got shot by the gun. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're seeing everyone who was standing up yeah, there. Yeah, only one night in jail if needed for that. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I John, I John's been arrested because he's the one with the guns. The goblin's being arrested because it was his ro- his room that the bullet came from. The rogue just looks shady enough, and the druid <laughs> lady was uh, complaining. <laughs> Stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll call my <laughs> lawyer about this. My, my I make yeah, a I'll comment like when oh, guards yeah, yeah. are passing by the uh, cell that I'm in. Like when the first time they pass by, I would like to try to make a stealth check to be hidden. So when they uh, look back in and then go to go get someone, I can just come out of the shadows and like I'm there this entire time. Okay. Just to really mess with the guards' minds. Roll your stuff. At us. Wait, is 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 Soraya with me? I'm pretty yeah, sure they separated. Outside. They're waiting outside the cell with you. 
Okay, mm -hmm. but what about Soraya? Like, where is she? As I said, she's waiting outside the cell for you. Okay. Oh, it's correct. Um, 39. Stealth roll. 39 minus 20. You're in a brightly lit cell with nothing to hide behind. <laughs> so, 19. Yep, let me roll for the guards. And they got a 25. One of them throws a piece of bread at your head. Mmm, <laughs> meanie. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you fucking goblin. Dennis, what are you doing? Oh, it's you nighttime. <clears throat> you, saw is, is it... who, you saw all the people that you traveled with today get arrested, so that's the thing. Is it nighttime? It's about mid-afternoon. Oh, it's mid-afternoon. Right, that was a lot for one morning. Hey, right, so... I guess... Well, now that the whole gunshot situation is over, I guess I'll leave my room, finally. Alright. So you leave right. after the cops finished arresting people. You see a guy nursing a gunshot wound at his shoulder. There's a big piece of his flesh just missing. So I'm gonna go... Up. I'm gonna do... I go and try and bandage him up with a heel check. Alright. He's already been Just... bandaged okay for the moment, but yeah, I could always help. Yeah. Um, here, where's my fucking dice roller? <sighs> It'd be 20, uh, 23. Alright, yeah, he's well bandaged now. It's firm, it's tight, there's no sweat, it's not gonna get gangrenous. Right. And he thanks you and pats you on the head. <laughs> Definitely looks sore. Yeah. Because I believe a gun does how much damage again? Like a D8? Stuff. We're doing a campaign right now. Why don't you ask uh, him? 1D8. Yeah. Let's check how much that guy actually took. Yeah, he almost died. Oops. Shine stick. He was, he was knocked unconscious. He was knocked unconscious from a blow. Because level one peasants have six health. Okay. He took eight damage. Shiny stick bad. Got it. <laughs> yeah. While we're in the jail cell, uh, I'm talking to, of course, the people in which I, I pretty much have come kind of familiar with in the last morning. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, y'all are uh, y'all pretty good. I haven't had anyone come as close as y'all have to uh, uh, finding me. Even though. Um, I kind of had to come back to get y'all, but still, I did at least find that I was in the Thieves Guild. You're lucky we didn't find you faster. Oh, uh, yeah, I would wish y'all luck on that one. Huh. I was actually kind of hoping for backup when y'all got there, but, uh... Kind of didn't not overly see y'all. Fond of goblins on the best days. Tall man, mean. Yes, tall uh, man. We'll find angry and. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tall man, mean. Sorry, my mic is muted. <laughs> It's fine. Good job. So the I tall want, man is me. I want. So I want. Me. I want. I wanted to yell at them to shut up because I was trying to like do, pray stuff. Pray stuff. Then oh, true, you pray. would have interrupted your pray then and had to start over. I know, but at least I told Druidic them to shut up. Prayers. It's okay if you're doing meditation as a druid. It takes like an entire hour. I mean, we have a whole day, so... 
You can pray 24 times. Uh, Sounds like a plan to me if it means I don't have to listen to you guys. Oh, that's me. Why isn't place. the females separated from the males? I think there's oh. only one female. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just me. There, there is one female, but still, it makes sense to separate the female from the males. You're not all in this, you're all in different cells. Yeah, it's okay. like we're just calling out between one another, like, between okay. cells. And, okay. and, and Soraya just kind of like yeah, I'm stares. going to take a. Okay, so Soraya just kind of like walks up and down the hallway, bored, obviously very anxious. Yeah, and one of the guards starts walking down the hallway. He's a lot more of what's the word? He's in a lot more fine clothing. He seems to be the warden. He looks at you all and says, All right, you little shits. Here's how it's gonna work. You four almost murdered someone. I don't even want to hear your complaints or excuses. What you're gonna do is some community service and work off this little infraction we got here. Understood? The perfect time to prison break. I ain't gonna oh, do God. nothing for fucking nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Spluck help. Spluck help. Alright. Well, Spluck is gonna be getting out tomorrow. You are gonna be getting out next week. What? <laughs> Sophie was saying that she's not doing nothing for nobody. Splug offered, yes, I'll help. Sounds like it would be fun. Why not? What are you? What's the job? Prince. Well, I'm gonna send you out to catch them without the boat. The thing is, until you guys actually do what I say, you're not gonna be getting into that city up there without proper authorization. What's going on with the four images? What do you mean? So four people. There's four people talking. There's actually five, not including me. That makes six. Why is that? Sorry, guys. It's fine. I would well, definitely like to help. Well, that's good. Because the man you're going to be hunting down. My friend. <clears throat> sure. I don't believe in friends. <laughs> okay, then. Well, for those of you who take the job, your target's going to be a man... Uh, what's his name? I believe it was Jebediah. He's down into the southern area of the forest. He runs with a bandit gang. Your job will be to take him out. And when he come back with his head, then he can enter the city. And all fines will be cleared. <laughs> What? So let me get this straight. We almost killed somebody. And your punishment is for us to go out and kill somebody else? No kill, kill bad. Sounds like fun. Oh, fun, isn't it? You all seem like the type who can That's handle something. Sitting in crap. The cell all day. Especially, since it's, especially since you're carrying such deadly weapons. You can bring them back if you like, alive. I just expect it to be a lot more difficult. If you do bring him back alive, I'll give you a, I'll give you the actual bounty reward as well. Shove off. Get some sleep. You leave in the morning. He spits some spice Up, at the floor uh, near. Uh, I guess I'm going to rest. Spits some spice at the floor near John's cell and continues out. Oh, all right. It's random. Frick, uh, at the comment about a big uh, bounty has a big toothy smile. Yeah, if you bring him back alive. Hey everyone, and this was your first episode of the Nerf Cave Inc. and our Pathfinder session. Have a nice night, and try to catch us next week. Good night! Bye!
Yeah, oh, he didn't oh, need what he could get out of. He's playing with Bella's Desco stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a staff of entanglement. Well, it's a staff of entanglement, which means all the vines come out to grapple people. Oh, that's why she has it. Yes. Someone she called a staff of hentai. A ranger named Drew and named Hart. Fuck. <laughs> okay, take two! <laughs> I'm Druid named Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>